Yo, what's going on guys? Shane from Rock About Sound. Before we start today's video, I want to thank you all so much for the tremendous support on our last pack, Feel Good for Serum. Honestly guys, we have not had a single negative review. Every single thing has been 100% 5 stars, so thank you guys so much for that. Um, link for that pack is at the top of the description. There is only like one day left if you guys want all the bonuses, which is like one free serum pack and a bunch of LFO shapes and stuff. But anyways, back to today's video. This is the sound we're going to be making. <laughs> It reminded me a lot of Two Veins kind of sound design and he has some really really dope sound design So I just kind of wanted to make a video on just kind of like the style kind of transformer bass here um, It's really just a heavy growly sound um, So let's go ahead and jump right into this so to start things off, we're actually going to be using zero frequency modulation. The only thing that's going to be modulated is not the wavetable itself, just the parameters that are going to be modulating the sound, um, such as the effects, filter, and etc. So, anyways, let's go ahead and select our waveform here. We're going to go to use, or we're going to go to spectral. My bad. We're going to select alien spectral. So let's just go ahead and cycle through this and get an idea of what this wavetable actually sounds like. <laughs> So obviously it's a very vocal sound here. All we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn up the octave one. So obviously same sound here, we're just turning up the octave one. Um, the reasoning for this is because when we go to filter, I turned on keyboard tracking when I was initially making the sound here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on keyboard tracking and I'm gonna show you what the difference is right now. So we're gonna go to flanger positive. Let's go ahead and turn the cutoff down a bit. And we're actually gonna boost the resonance quite a bit so we can really bring this out. And the reason we turn on keyboard tracking is so whatever note that we press, the keyboard will move, or the filter cutoff will move with it. So this is really crucial for things like the flanges, the combs, um, and even the uh, ring modulation filter as well. So anyways, back to the sound here. Um, let's go ahead and play what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like with one octave turned up. One sec, let's turn it or on the notes. Let's turn down one note, okay? Now when we go into oscillator A, let's turn down the octave one. And now I'll show you why I turned that up. That just does not sound right. So I just turned it up one octave. I know that you can actually just convert um, from the hertz in the cutoff here into the note and then just move the cutoff down to whatever the time, uh, whatever amount of hertz it is. But you know, that's we don't need to do that work when we could just turn up one octave. All right, so we're gonna leave it up at one octave here. I hope that you guys kind of catch what I'm saying. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, yeah, so first things first, let's go ahead and start our modulation. Um, we're just gonna take our LFO one here and we're gonna shape just a really basic shape like this. Um, we're gonna turn on trigger and we're actually going to modulate wavetable position of oscillator A. So now you guys can kind of hear the sound kicking in here. Um, we can actually modulate the level as well from zero. Cut out that excess sound that we don't need. Now guys, another thing that we can do here is we can actually move the sound to here. And that'll create more of a two veiny kind of growl. Anyways, into the effects here, that's really what we're gonna be um, shaping the sound further. And that's really what's going to create the robotic sound here. So first things first, we're gonna turn on our hyper our hyper in our dimension. Uh, we're just going to turn up the, the hyper mix quite a bit here. Like we're talking 91%. You when we're talking 91%, you know, we got some serious sound design going on here. So you guys already know the mix for the dimension size, very low size and high mix. That way we don't get the extra clip. That sounds disgusting. Let's turn it back up a little bit. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and turn on our disto, Big Daddy disto. We're gonna turn up that drive 100%. Oh my, that is one harsh effect here, but Hear me out guys, hear me out. We're just gonna keep moving. Let's keep moving into our filter here. We're gonna go into our mis miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Am I pronouncing that right? If I'm completely butchering that word, make sure you guys drop a comment and let me know because I feel like a fool right now. <laughs> we're just gonna turn on our reverb filter. And we're actually going to boost the resonance basically not quite all the way up. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that was rough on the ears. Um, let's turn down the resonance a little bit so that way it doesn't sound like someone pressed every note on the piano at one time because that's literally what it sounds like. 
We just want a little bit of that tail. Just a little bit of everyone pressing every note on the piano at one time. <laughs> it sounds like that. I don't know. I was just messing around. But let's turn off the cutoff to about... All right. As you can see, the master is clipping. We're going we're gonna to need to turn that down. All right, let's turn this back up. And finally, guys, let's move into our multiband compressor here. The multiband is really going to even out the frequencies. Oh my gosh, it sounds a lot better without distortion. We might have to uh, make a few changes to the tutorial here. It's all up to you guys, to be honest. Uh, that's a little embarrassing. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and select our peak filter here. We're just going to boost this. And basically, we're just gonna be modulating the frequency here. And if you can hear, we're actually creating a little vocal effect here, because we want the sound to be even more vocal than it actually is. So let's just go ahead and modulate that. Oops, my bad. Let's modulate this. Alright, that sounds good. We'll turn on the gain. Um, that way we know where it's moving around. Let's turn off the distortion. No, I feel like distortion, it needs a little bit. And guys, just a little fun thing that you can do here. We can modulate the cutoff to create some really cool things, really cool sounds, I mean. So guys, that's really all that we have for today's video. If you guys like that sound, you know what to do. Make sure you guys sauce me a like and click that subscribe button as well because guys, it is not me. Whoa, it is not me that is missing out. It is you guys because we literally have the best serum tutorials on the internet. And if you're not subscribed, you're missing out on those. Anyways, without further ado, I'm Shane Gregoire from Rock Sound and I will catch you guys in the next video.